Sup, took a prolonged break, but we're back. A new year, so time to start with a little upgrade to the setup. I've legitimately had this thing sitting on my shelf right next to me for over a year, which is pretty bad. Still has the mass drop branding, uh, but the Prionic is still available on drop, though probs always will be. Um, and from what I can see, it still looks to be the same, so I'll link all that stuff. This is an author linear board, which I honestly just can't type on, sorry. But what these can be really useful for are nice, sizable macro pads. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to transform this into my very own Discord emoji board because they are the backbone of every good server. I'm sure for a lot of you, Discord has become somewhat prevalent in your life recently, especially with keyboards. It, it actually kind of messes you up because it, it drags you deeper. You see other people's stuff, you want to impress people, you end up splashing a couple of grand on some metal rectangles and pieces of plastic, all that sort of stuff. Uh, but yeah, nah, it's good to talk to people. We'll do a full makeover. So a quick paint job, got to sound off the old branding because it was raised. And I gave the whole thing a little bit of a rough up. I actually don't know what grit I was using, probably in the 300s, but uh, use wet dry sandpaper. With painting, the most important things are prep and patience. So I made sure it was properly clean with soap and then I'm using etch primer, which is specifically used for metals. Uh, this of course is aluminium and to get the best adhesion and therefore durability, you got to use primer for the paint to uh, solidly stick to. So a couple of coats of that with some sanding and we end up with this. I want something nice and bright on my desk, so I'm going to use yellow. This particular bottle is water-based acrylic paint, which I don't really like to use for this sort of thing because you can't wet sand it and it's kind of soft, so I usually use enamels, but I couldn't be stuffed going to the store. Uh, spray cans work just fine, but I have an airbrush which gives me more control. I started with my Sparmax Max 3, which has a 0.3mm nozzle. It is a pretty small board, so not a huge surface area to cover. And yeah, 0.3mm is a bit too narrow to evenly cover the bottom, so I switched to my GP850 which has a 0.5mm nozzle, and I have a fan cap on instead of round. So that's the top done, pretty happy with the finish so far, but the grey actually looks pretty nice on the bottom. At this point I was thinking of putting just a big silky sun on the bottom and make it yellow, but let's stick with grey. And again, patience is key, let it dry, sand between coats if necessary, but because this is just primer, it dries super quick and sands like a dream. Time to spice up the bottom. This is water slide decal paper, uh, specifically the clear version. I just use my standard inkjet printer, uh, but in the best mode it offers of course. It's a great way to transfer pictures and stuff to objects. Uh, people in like model making would be very familiar with this stuff. Because it is clear, I don't need to be super precise with the cutting, but also the surface color will show through it. So typically you want to do this on a light surface, white, or like in this case, just use black as the decal. Here I just have some water and you chuck it in there for like 30 seconds or whatever, depends on the paper. 
and temps. Um, you can also use decal setters and softeners for better adhesion and to reduce the lip around the edge. The more water and whatever other mediums you use, the more fragile it becomes and I did unfortunately push it a bit too hard on the left of the Discord logo, uh, but nothing a Sharpie can't fix though. Bam, looks good. I also chucked in a Silgi Sun on the inside because it probably is my favorite and most used emoji. I got a bit of gray overspray on the inside because of lazy masking, but that's okay. Here's the PCB, which is a slightly older version. Good old hot swap. Normally we have completely fixed layouts with hot swap, but there is the ability to have a 2U spacebar on the bottom. All right, let's put it together. The reason I had the Discord logo like this by the way was because of that one screw hole in the middle, needed some space for it. And yeah, this is a tray mount board so we screw our stern offs to the bottom. On the instruction sheet they do mention that you don't need the brass spaces between the plate and PCB which in theory should make it just a little less stiff feeling, uh, but I'll use them anyway. Also because I have these dragon fruits which are a tactile switch by C3 equals and TKC. I received mine from switch keys so a big thanks to them, I'll link this too. And these are part of the fruit family like the popular kiwis and tangerines. They're lighter than the kiwis at 63.5 grams and are supposedly modelled on the ergo clears. This won't be a proper review on them though, uh, plus this board won't really be a typical board too in regards to feel. But stock was kind of sketchy, bit pingy and crunchy, and super summarized, lighter and weaker bump than Kiwis. So I did lube them with Tribosis 3203, oil the springs, and use 0.18mm Lazy Ninja films, and it makes them so much better. We're not going to use the keycaps that came in the box, instead I grabbed a bunch of re-legendable keycaps. You can just google that and you'll find some. These ones in particular are X keys ones which I bought locally and I got a few different colours because the grey ones were expensive and there wasn't enough stock in just one colour. I also got these pre-cut sheets which I ended up ditching because they're not suitable for printing plus it's, it's a hassle trying to line everything up. So here's what I got. I downloaded a template specifically for these keys. If you actually do this, I recommend thinning the lines a bit and make them something bright. Um, I also added a grey background to match the bottom of the board, uh, but also so it wouldn't just be a plain white. Glossy paper would probably be nicer, make them pop a bit more, but I didn't have any, so this is just standard AD GSM printer paper. And just cut away. Doesn't need to be that precise and you'll see how it looks in the end. Here it is, my Discord emoji board V1, and I'm super happy with it. Like, usually I have ideas in my head, but even when I start, I don't really know where I'm going, but the paint job on this looks pretty sick in my opinion, but yellow, grey, and black is a given though, always looks good. Finishes on point, can't really convey it on video, but I got it nice and smooth with wet sanding, and I'm really happy that I'm getting better at this. I also blended the decals in pretty nicely, 
Mendez AS is my Discord handle, by the way. I primarily hang out on Snag Keys, which is the Australian and New Zealand mech server. Also a bit of daily clack and switch keys, I guess, for keyboard stuff, and pop in once in a while across the billion keyboard servers. The Discord logo ended up looking really nice too. I kind of strayed from their branding guidelines, so I hope that's okay. But uh, yeah, I think it looks nice and again, accommodates that center screw. On the top, and how good is that? The religional keycaps are very low profile. I should have just splashed out on grey caps instead of the, the bunch of colours I have here. Also, I would prefer proper clear tops. These ones are textured, so you lose a bit of colour and contrast through them. Again, just Google religible keycaps and there will be uh, a few available, uh, but I'll link the ones that I have. Alright, let's quickly go through these. So, these are kind of my most used and favourite ones I currently use. Obviously, we go through different phases and stuff, but this is what I have. Starting with the Gobbers. Such a great react and super expressive. We got the original, then Rainbow, Bunnings, Take Keyboards, and Lazy Ninja variants. Beautiful. Then I have a bunch of K-pop girls, not super based on who I like, but uh, just the stuff I use. The Silky Sun is probably my overall favourite, bless you Zekin for introducing me to the wonders of Nitro, pure sunshine she is. And right next to her is Greasy Wendy and those two are top tier girls ever. Then some Chewy from Twice, I like this one because the OK hand is super clear. Sana also from Twice with the shrug. I got some Chair One from Eyes One. Really good moving reacts, I spam Che1 shoot quite a bit. Then some Itzy, Yuna has some of the best expressions, and Leah has the best eye smile ever. Then we got some friends, Cam, Kadazzle, Toasty, Liam's dad, Idyllic, Fatty to show some respect to the Daily Clack server, Derek, and Lazy Ninja. Then some from Snag Keys, Rama FOMO, classic. Wake Up Cap, shout out to Dean, Snag, of course. Old Mate Salmo, the absolute legend, Migurang, best damn food ever, and a small homage to Yif Keys, don't forget where you came from. Puppet Monkey Boy, self-explanatory for those situations. A few Pepes, pretty standard stuff, but a clown one for all the clowns on Discord. Old Mate Jimothy, Smudge, the absolute champ, thanks for the carry. Broden Kelly, so good. I've used Police Car a bunch for sus situations. Galaxy Brain and Stonks are solid choices I feel, especially in this hobby. Obviously, we need a dolphin for all the mad flippers and keyboards. Imagine flipping. We got the country flags, bless the Philippines and Australia. This one is me as a child, and then a grown up version above that. Two of my favourite blobs, Tortina Blob and Spam Blob. And then these ones are a bunch of pretty standard ones I often use, and we'll keep it super wholesome on the right side to end it. And that's that! I actually found it pretty difficult to fill up 60, but I got there. Okay, so this was quite a pain to get it to be able to output all these macros because I'm not an intelligent boy. First I thought, oh yeah, I'll do it on VR, but the Prionic isn't on VR, which was annoying, so we put it on VR, but then it only supports 16 macros anyways, so old mate Zealous completely saved me and did his Goom K magic. Cannot thank you enough, mate. Uh, a lot of back and forth on Discord. You are too generous with your time. So yeah, right now, as you would have seen, he set it up so that when I press a key, it types out the actual emoji code and then presses enter. Therefore, it's just one at a time. It's also really useful when you know, you type out a sentence and then you end with an emoji, it presses enter. I feel that's a pretty common scenario. What would be the next step would be to be able to toggle that enter somehow so that I can enter multiple, but it's totally cool right now. And, and projects like these make me, they make me so happy, honestly, you know, it's hours of just messing around because you didn't really plan ahead properly. All the sanding, the painting, waiting, the re-legendables and putting all those together on Illustrator, then cutting them up, all that stuff. Then the final hurdle with the macros, the back and forth, and finally, in the end it all comes together and it works. It, it's so, so rewarding. 
Huge, huge thanks again to Zealous for making this work. Wouldn't have been possible without him. And hoping for a good year for you all. It may look bleak, but just keep pushing through as always. I myself have some pretty big changes coming very soon, which is scary, but I hope you enjoyed something a bit different because I have a lot more creative projects coming. Thank you to all and clean air for all. I'm so sorry. <laughs>